What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new player SBC and it is going to be your boy Christian Tello to review today. This card right here looks ridicu ridiculously good with the right chem style. He's got 94 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, 85 passing with the 72 physicals as well. And if we are comparing him to his just casual in form, we are looking at a plus 2 to pace, a plus 4 to dribbling, a plus 7 to shooting, a plus plus Six to passing, a plus four to defending, and a plus six to physicals. He is a five foot ten player with high medium work rates, four star skill moves, and a four star weak foot. His work rates went from medium medium to high medium, which is always going to be a plus, especially going forward. Now, when it comes down to the chem style I have gone for, it is going to be the finisher chem style. The finisher chem style on this card is literally the definition of perfect like it gives him the extra dribbling which he doesn't really need but you never you know it's nice to have let's say and it also gives him that high 15 that plus 15 boost to shooting which is to shooting sorry to finishing which is absolutely insane so this card has 93 acceleration with a 95 sprint speed so he's clearly going to be a fast player he has got 95 attacking positioning 97 finishing with the 99 shot power does he have any shooting traits unfortunately he does not but boys come on man look at that shooting ability he better be clinical in front of that net he has got 82 long shots as well 99 volleys with the 71 penalties now when it comes down to his passing ability it actually doesn't look too bad like 82 vision 86 crossing 89 freaky accuracy 85 short passing 80 long passing with the 94 curve is not bad at all the only thing that i might be worried about is how consistent those lby's with him is going to actually be now the dribbling ability 97 agility 93 balance 80 reactions 86 ball control but uh, sorry 86 ball control 99 dribbling with the 80 composure i don't like how the composure is you know 80 that's you know quite low let's say but everything else there looks absolutely incredible now we are looking at the physicals he has got 84 jumping him being a 5 foot 10 player he might win some headers but the majority of the headers especially against some, the kind of defenders we match up against nowadays he might lose it to them now he has got 83 stamina do i believe that is going to be enough to last for the whole 90 minutes most likely it kind of depends on how much you actually use this card but he has also got 72 strength with the 57 aggression so strength wise he looks like he's going to be one of those players that might be getting bodied off the ball now when it comes down to links he's obviously from the la liga and he's also and he's obviously spanish so you can link this guy up with a fair amount of players but i've just personally gone for icons because why not at the end of the day i've gone for deco and your boy carlos alberto i've also Guy likes Aguero, Ruben Neves, and, and Curtis Jones in that midfield. Where will I be playing Christian Tello? The 4 4 2 in that striker position just to get a few goals, and I will be playing him in a 4 2 3 1 in a cam position and also in a ram position. But let's get into these games. Gonna try to switch the ball here. That is gonna be a decent switch, and he is gonna run onto it well played. Can I go for a good touch? That's gonna be a decent touch, maybe a fake shot there. Lack of get to cancel. Let's see how he feels on the ball. Oh, he feels nice. Yeah, look at that. Look how instant it is. Look how responsive it is. Can I get around a corner? I can. He'll can we get a goal? Hold up a second, boys. Hold up a second. Turn there. Nah, he read me like a book. Fair play. Double way through the middle. Nice. Can I go for maybe a quick one, two? Try to get him in behind. Good dummy. Really good dummy. And oh my God. Did you see the shot power? Like, I personally thought he went a bit too close to the keeper. It did. Like, it barely went into the corner. But because of that shot power, it went straight past him. And the guy's going to end up rage quitting. Deck on the ball. Going to try to go for that wide ball. Well played. Ball roll. Hill to hill. Lack of to cancel. Oh, I had him. I didn't even realize I had him. And he's going to end up missing with that four-star weak foot. I must admit, I made it harder than it actually was because I did not expect his Boateng to just go in for that tackle. So I thought, I, you know, I had to kind of beat him in a way. But clearly I didn't. And I did overdo it a little bit. But still, I feel like that should be going in. He's going to make that outward run, which is perfectly fine. Because I can use that pace and just get around the player. Look how fast he is. That is ridiculous. Can I go for... I'm trying to get this. There you go. He's going to probably make that run. He does make that run into the open space. Ball roll into the inside. Can I get the finish? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I must admit, I could have took, you know, an extra touch just to make sure that went in. But with his kind of finishing ability, I'm expecting that to go in with left foot or even right foot. It doesn't matter. It should be going in for me. Get it to Tello. That's a good pass through the little gap. Well played. I could potentially go for an overtime through ball, but I'm going to trust his pace. Look at that. 
Ball roll as well, cut into the inside. Yeah, that's perfect. That is literally perfect because I could have gone for that near post finish, but I knew he was committing with Boateng. So I took it calm, composed myself, and just went with, with that easy finish with that left foot. But look at the guy's pace. Absolutely insane. Going to go for that wide ball. That's a good pass. A really good pass, to be fair to him. He's going to give me that passing option, which is really good to see. Should we go for a finesse? Oh, wow. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go with, with a finesse shot with that weaker foot. Maybe we should try to, you know, work it more inside the box. Because that right there, <laughs> let's just say that wasn't what I was expecting. RBA, straight to his feet. Good touch. Give it to Son. Little scoop turn. Give it back to him. Going to go for a fake shot into that space. Use that pace just to get round that corner. Because I was going to do well, but he's not going to do good enough, apparently. Can we still go for the goal? Oh, that would have been pretty decent. I like how we had a little bit of fight there, by the way. Like, especially up against Kazawa, I was expecting him to kind of get, like, pushed off the ball there. But he was really fighting for it. Tell on the ball. It's good footwork. You see how close he keeps it to his feet when just going for these quick lefts? That's going to be a pen as well. It's going to be a pen. It shouldn't be a pen, but apparently it is. But do you see what I mean about his dribbling? Like, just using the left stick, you can see those little precise touches, which is really, really good for beating players inside the box. But we do have a penalty, and we are going to try to score with him. Where is he? There you go. He's got 71 pens, but there's only one thing we do around here. And it is going to be the top bins chip. Can he hit it towards the top bins? He is going to hit it towards the top bins. And we are going to get the goal. Going to send Tello on a run there. Well played. Come on, we could score a kickoff goal right quick. That's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Little hill to hill around the keeper as well. Just to mock it a little bit more. I'm telling you, boys. With how good he keeps that ball close to his feet, you can do stuff like this if you learn how to do these kind of skill moves. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. This guy's dribbling. Tello is going to make that run. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Nah, he's just going to kind of get bodied off there. He can clearly outpace Boateng. It's just the only issue is getting round Boateng. You know, he's not going to be that kind of player to be pushing Boateng off the ball. It's just not going to happen. Maybe go for a quick one too. Give it back to him. There you go. It's a good little dummy as well. Good acceleration. He has got that acceleration touch, by the way. And that's really, really good for beating defenders. So I have moved Tello into the cam position now. And as you clearly can see, he is coming short. But I reckon... Yeah, this is what I feel like he's going to do. I reckon he's actually going to be quite aggressive when he sees the open space. Like, if I go for a cutback, yeah, he gives me that passing option, which is really nice. But look at him still staying up there, pretty much acting like he's in that cam position. Through the middle, that's beautiful. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Just splitting through the little gap. Oh, come on. With the post, the post in as, as well. Come on now, boys. That is insane. Give it to Della right here. I actually like his movement, you know. He's moving in that. Look, he's going to make that aggressive run right there. Yeah, he's moving in the cam position is nice. It's very balanced. It's not like super, super aggressive. It's one of those ones where he comes short a fair amount of times. He gives you those passing options. But if he sees like a wide open gap in behind, he's going to make that run. Going to give the ball to Teller right here. Going to go for an LBY all the way to the top. It is going to be an easy pass to do and he is going to be able to do it. Can I go for a ball roll into the inside? Give that ball to El Sharari. Go for the back kill. Give him that little extra goal. He's made good movement. You see how he's giving me the passing options? Even though I've got a wide open opportunity with El Sharari, he's still giving me that little movement, which is really enjoyable to see. Nice little shielding by him there. I must admit, boys, his strength, it doesn't seem, you know, like really, really good, which is expected because his strength is not really good. But it's not as bad as I feel like his card is actually saying it is. So it is time to review in three games played, six goals scored, and unfortunately, we did not get an assist. But boys, 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 this card is magical. Magical. And it's currently going for 180k. This card, I can guarantee you, if he was up on the market, he would easily go above 200k, 300k plus. 180k for this card right here is a really, really nice price. So if you're sitting there with a Liga Santander team, go ahead and get him because you're not just getting an 87 overall Tello. You're getting a player that has the pot potential to go up to an 89 overall if they end up scoring six goals in five games. Now, I have seen Real Betis' next five games and they do have Atletico Madrid and Sevilla. So th those two games are very, very hard to actually come out with a W or even come out with a few goals in. So is it guaranteed to him to get upgraded? No. But is it worth the risk? 
I believe so. Because this card for 180k, for me personally, I feel like that's like a little bit of a bargain. Saying that he's got those high medium work rates, he's got that four star skill moves, and he has got that four star weak foot to his game. So yeah, 100% boys, I feel like he is worth it. But let's get into the ratings. Pace. I am going to give his pace, I would honestly say, like a 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. Insane. You saw how many times I was using him just to get him behind. Go for those quick counter attacks. This is how you use this guy to his full potential. Get him in behind, through ball him the ball, let him do his little dribbling, try to be an opponent one on one. Boom, you're going to score. Shooting ability though. Now, when it came down to his left-footed finishing, it was a bit questionable. I'm not going to argue against it. It was a bit, you know, it was a bit one of those ones where it was quite, quite weird to say. Because a four-star weak foot is usually, usually very good. Especially with those kind of shooting stats. But he was like, he kept missing the target. Then it hit post. And I was like, what's happening here? What is happening here? But every time, boys, I shot onto that right foot. Yeah, that ball's going in. 100% that ball is going in. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, probably like an 8.7, 8.8 out of 10. Really, really nice. Now the passing ability, he had a nice pass to his game. 100%. And you can 100% play this guy in the cam position if you want to. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. I don't want to overdo it because he had a nice overtop through ball. The short passing was very consistent as well. It just wasn't on a, you know, a Bruno Fernandez, KDB or any of those kind of people kind of level, you know. So for dribbling ability, it has to be high. It really does. I'm going to give his dribbling, I would honestly say like a 9.2 out of 10 insane you're gonna realize how good he is especially with that finisher chem style and when it comes down to the physicals i was surprised you know i was really surprised because i thought going into this like 72 strength for five or ten players gonna be one of those ones where he's gonna get body off the ball if i play up against a boateng a varan a furlan mendy a virgil van dyke but he was fighting he was really, really fighting. Saying that a player is fighting with only 57 aggression is something you don't see very often. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 seems very reasonable for me personally. Now, an overall rating out of 10, he's not a bad card, boys. He really, really isn't. So I am actually going to give this card, I would say like an 8.7 slash an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I'm telling you, this card is no joke of a card. And if you want an absolute beast of a player for only 180k, go ahead and get him. You won't regret it. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.